There are several recruiting trends that I'm looking at so far this year and looking into 2023. The first one is the, the movement that's happening in the industry. Not only is it, are we seeing it from wirehouses, but we're also seeing it from other independent firms as well. And I think that as people have reflected on the last couple of years during the pandemic, they really have wanted to decide what they want for their life going forward. And independence allows freedom and flexibility. And also for the independent advisors, it offers an opportunity to partner with an independent firm that might better support what they're looking to do for their clients. Another trend that I've noticed is that we are seeing a major shift through the years and even more so now from solo and siloed advisors moving into ensemble or enterprise firms. Those firms create great opportunities not only for next gen advisors to come in and have a career path, but also provide stability for clients in knowing who their advisor is going to be after the current advisor they're working with is retired or just in general a greater presence in their area and a strength um, that that enterprise firm or ensemble firm can bring to the area. Another trend that we've noticed, and, and this is no surprise, everyone has been watching this for years, is the rate of advisors that are going to be looking to retire over the next 10 years and then the number of buyers that are out there. Advisors and enterprise and ensemble firms are all looking to purchase practices. And I think it's really important that we do a job um, to matchmake and help bring those companies together. It is critical that we bring young women into this industry. Women are built with empathy, and that is a game changer when you're working with individual clients. And I have said for years that women are built for this business. And so we, as an industry, but also at Commonwealth, feel that we really need to make that step forward in helping to bring that next generation in. This is not a conversation that we can have when someone's in their 20s. This is a conversation that we need to have not only at the university level, but I really believe this needs to happen at the high school level, where we are getting the word out there that this is a career that will support a woman in not only um, building an incredible career where she can take care of clients, just like a doctor takes care of patients, but also that there's flexibility in this career. And so as you move on and your life changes and maybe you have kids and, and so forth, you have that flexibility to build the work-life balance that you need to do both. At Commonwealth, we also have a Women of Commonwealth Steering Committee and Advisory Council that really helps to guide the programming and so forth that we put out, including a Women Advisor Summit that we do each year to bring our women advisors together and also help to raise up the next-gen advisors like we did this past August. And most recently at our national conference, I held a conversation with three women advisors who really were there to talk about how we can strategize and work with our male advisors to help them bring advisors into their practice, specifically young women, and the different ways to engage those women to get them excited about this career and also help them see the career path that they will have in their practice to support it.